Hello, and welcome to this week's Let's Talk Meshings Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. In this video, we demonstrate how to read grid data into pointwise from non native sources. Within the File menu, there's a submenu named Import with options for Grid, Database, and Overset. Selecting the Grid option brings forward an Open Save dialog window, which allows users to choose a file type from a list of supported formats. Pointwise will attempt to open the selected file based on attributes associated with the file's type. If the format of the file does not match the expected attributes for that file's type or extension, then the pointwise will prompt users to reselect a file type. Alternatively, users can opt to cancel the import step at this point. If an unstructured wireframe file is selected for import, for example STL, PATRAN, or NASTRAN file formats, then the import grid panel will display options for splitting incoming domains. Users can automatically split incoming domains by specifying a turning angle in units of degrees between cells by entering a target split domain angle in the corresponding entry field. Edges between cells where the turning angle is greater than the split domain angle specified will be marked as the split location for the domain. Enabling the split multiple edge domains option automatically splits multiple edge domains to ensure that all resulting domains include single edges. With Pointwise version 18.1, users can now write their own import plugins to support importing grid data in a user's desired grid format. A number of popular grid file formats have been added, including support for NASA's Fun3D and Stanford SU2 solvers. So grids in each solver's respective grid file format can now be read into Pointwise directly. More information regarding how to write custom import plugins can be found with a link provided with this video's description. If you have any questions or comments, then drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter using the link in this video's description. Thank you and have a pleasant Tuesday.